Hi, Laura J.E. Hamilton here with a handstand lesson. And I'm going to just show you that after a year of working on handstands, I got tremendously better at reaching a tipping point, which I only became aware of was happening when I finally found the tipping point and then was able to hold it. And it's the result of practice. It's the result of sticking with it. It's the result of growing a belief in myself and my own ability to do it. And now it doesn't seem as hard. Now it seems like something that I can accomplish and I can be proud of myself because I stuck with it. And it is to say to you that whatever you are working on or towards, the best way to gain confidence is to stick with it and realize that the only failure is in not getting back up after we fall because we all do. We all fall because it's part of life. It's part of being human and it is part of the process of expanding into the person that can instead of the person that says I can't before they've even tried. What I know for sure is that last year when I decided that I was going to learn how to do handstands right in the midst of doing my pull-up competition against myself and no one else but others did get involved is that my excitement and my dedication to continually get better allowed other people to get inspired to either try to or to work harder on something that they were scared to do because they weren't doing it overly well either. Well, what I know for sure is that whatever we practice, we do get better at. Whatever we do enough times that it becomes part of who we are, we get to embody. And when we embody that change, that growth, we become the person that others look to for inspiration and motivation. And when they do, it is up to us to be the person that believes in them enough for them to believe in themselves for a moment. And it's not to say that you have to believe in everybody, but it is to say that for someone, you will be that person. You will be the person that they watch you try and try and fail, but get back up and try again and not succeed and get back up and try again. And eventually they get there and then they will get there too. Because of you, because of me, it is time for us to realize that the tipping point is in collective consciousness as much as in my handstands. The tipping point is that point where enough of us believe. The tipping point is when enough of us believe the same thing in a new way that finally we can make change possible. We can affect systems that are broken, that are not working, that are not honoring the individual and instead are honoring the tribe instead. It is time for us to realize that we belong to each other. It is time for us to realize that we are not alone. And it is time for us to realize that every time we fall, we get stronger because we have to use those muscles to get ourselves back up and learn from that lesson to say, next time, I'm gonna do that different. I hope that this message inspires you to inspire someone else by continuing to persevere through something that is difficult for you something that you haven't yet mastered, something that you are in the process of learning how to do with enough confidence to say, yes, I can, even if you fall. Oh, let me try that again. Just keep trying. You are worth it. And the world needs you to keep trying because if you fall down and stay down, the world loses that song that is left inside. And that is what makes the graveyard the richest place in the whole world because too many of us have died with our songs still left unsung, except 
anyone watching this right now, you right now watching me say this, means that you have an opportunity in front of you. And whatever it is that scares the crap out of you is exactly the place to start. Just by believing in yourself enough to try something that others thought that you couldn't do. Because you can. You just haven't done it yet. Laura J. Namaste. The light in me honors, the light in you.